so this is the cutting process i've added my sewing allowance i added half inch on the side you know this one is going to be on the center fold so it's on fold here i added half inch everywhere except the cent the side front see the side front i added one inch this is the side back i added one inch then every other part i added half half inch down up half inch so that's how i'm going to cut it so i'm cutting both my bridal satin my st and my chantilly lace i'm cutting them all together so i'll cut them then we'll press i'll press the st on it then we'll start sewing that's one so we'll pick center front this fashion fabric this is the lining so i'm just going to keep the lining aside whatever i do on the fabric that's what i'll do on the lining so i'm going to bring center front to the center front too i'm going to bring it and i'll put one here i'll put the other one here you see it for the lining too i'll do the same thing for the lining i'll put one here i'll put the other one here too this is the next so i'll bring the side front too i'll put one here put the other one here then i'll put for the lining too this is the lining one will be here the other one will be here too so you see it this is how it's going to be then i'll pick the next one side front side front so i'll pick i'll put one here And I'll put the other one here. So you see it. It's looking like it. Then for the lining too. You can see. It. So this is how I'm going to go to my sewing. So this is for the front. Let's finish for the front. Then we'll come back to do for the back. So this is how I'm just going to join them by half inch. I'll just put them together like this. So by half inch, I'll join everything. Just what I did do here on the fashion fabric, I'll do the same thing on the lining piece. So let me go and join the front, then we'll come back to join the back. So guys, I've joined the front. This is the front. So I want to add the back to it. So this is the copy. I've not pressed it. You see it? I've not pressed it. So I'm going to add the back to it now. So this is the back. This is side back. So I'll take it. And I'll put one here. I'll put the other one here. See, I'll sew it. Then I'll take center back. Don't forget anything I do on the fashion fabric, I'll do it on the lining. So I'll put center back here, and I'll put the other center back here. So you see, so I'll go and join it now by a half inch. So now we have our full panel. Let's not forget our modesty panel. This is it. I've cut it. I use my brother bridal satin to cut two pieces of it. So I'm going to sew here, sew here, sew here. Then I'm I'm not going to sew this part. This is the part I'll use it to turn out, and this is the part I'm going to sew. We are sewing it on the lining piece. We are not putting it on the fashion fabric. So I'm going to insert it when I'm joining. This is the front. This is the side. This is the side back and side front. I'm going to join this by one inch. Then when I'm joining this part. This is the center back. When I'm joining this part to this part, I'm going to insert my modesty panel inside. You see it? So it's going to be like this. Okay, guys. So I've joined the pieces together. This is the lining part. Let's remove it. Then this is the fabric. You can see. I've joined all the parts and I've pressed open all my seam. I did the same thing for the lining part too. This is the lining. You can see. I pressed open my seam too. And look at the bust area you can see i'm not fixing my bra cup and the cup is already copying <laughs> you can see it it's already copying so i'll still attach my bra cup so what we'll do next now is to fix in our boning so the boning structure i want to use is my plastic boning and the way i want to create this plastic boning i'm going to create i'm using i'm going to create a channel on this my seam line you can see this my seam line I'm just going to go to my machine then create i'll just make a stitch down the size of my boning the width of my 
plastic boning is 0 0.25 so i'm just going to create that space on each side so i'm going to have two boning on one seam two boning on one seam that's how i'm going to do it all around till the end so that by the time i finish creating that space i'll just sew on this place like this by the time i finish sewing i would have created a channel for my boning to pass through so let me do that so let's start passing our plastic boning so before you start passing it you can use your paper tip you can use your paper tip to tape the tip so that it doesn't poke you or your client so just tape the tip you can see i've taped it then we can start passing it into our boning channel okay so you make sure it's not getting to the top just leave like half inch or 0 0.5 inch that you use to turn the neckline and below too make sure it's not getting to the end just leave the inches you will use in turning the hem so i'm fixing the first one you see it this is the first one so i'll fix for the other ones so that's how i'm going to just fix it everywhere around the boning channel so let me do that okay guys I've pressed it I'm fixing my boning and I've pressed it you can see it looking so beautiful this is my cup area you can see it's standing I've not put in my breast pad though and it's standing like this it's only a stay that is inside so if you have done a good job with your drafting to come out beautiful so now I want to put our bra cup then I want to show you something you can dart the down the down part not the top part I know I've taught severally that you should dart the upper part but I just discovered this if you dart the lower part, it gives you more fullness and it doesn't give you that pointed that pointed look that the darting at the top gives you. This is so smooth. I love it. So try it. So I'm going to do for this one too. I'm just going to turn it to the back. Then below here, I'm going to hold it that of half inch. That's all. Then I'll fix it into my cup. Let's use this one that I've already darted. So I'll just put it inside. I'll make sure that is resting on the underboss. This is my underboss. You must have not your underboss. So this is my underboss. I'll make sure it's resting on the underboss. Then I'll use my needle and thread. I'll tack it gently. I'll use a matching thread so that it doesn't show. I'll that it. I'll tack it gently. I'll tack here. I'll tack here. I'll tack this lower part. Then maybe upward. Maybe here too. I might not tack this top part. But I'll tack here, here, and here. So let's do that okay guys so i'm done fixing the bra cup you can see how copy our overboss corset is so this is the bra cup see i darted the down part and i at, i use needle and thread to tack it round so this is what we have so what i'll do next is to bring our lining piece you know i've sewn the lining this is the lining i didn't put any bra cup in the lining only on the so this is the lining piece and this is our modesty panel you can see our modesty panel so i'm going to put it right side facing right side and i'll sew it at the top here only at the top to turn it and when i'm sewing it i'm going to put my hemming gum so that by the time i turn it if i press on it it will stay um turn it to the lining and i've pressed it i put them in gum like i told you so i've pressed the neckline you can see it is sitting well everything is sitting well you see it so the next thing we'll do is to fix our lacing bar on the center back so what i did is i got a piece of fabric this is a piece of fabric the width is three inches the width is three inches the length will be the length of your your back your center back so what i'll do is i'll bring my regiline bone in this time around i want to use regiline bone in. so i'm going to sew like this i'm going to leave half inch first then i'll sew my regiline bone in. after sewing it on both sides like this i'll leave a space in between and I'll sew another regiline boning. That space in between is where our eyelet is going to stay. So I'm going to go to my machine now, sew this regiline boning, leave a space, then sew another regiline boning. Then I'll come back to show you. Okay, so this is what I was explaining. I've sewn the regiline boning, you see it. 
you can see I've sewn it I left space in between this space is where my eyelet will sit you see it so now we're going to fix it we'll fix it from the right side make sure you are grabbing the lining and the fabric together you see it so I'll sew it like this I'll leave this half inch that I used to tuck it in. Leave half inch upward. So I'll sew half inch like this. Then I'll take it in. See what I did? I sew it from the wrong side. This is the wrong side. I placed this. I placed the lacing bar on the wrong side. So I've sewn half inch. I've sewn half inch like so. Then I'll bring it forward. I can cut out this this bulk here. I'll cut it out. Then I'll bring it forward like this. Then I'll fold this half inch here. You see it? And I'll fold this half inch upwards too. Like this. Then I'll sew. I'll sew here. I'll still go in and top stitch here. I'll still top stitch inside here too. Then this space in between will be where my eyelet will sit. I hope you understand. So let me go ahead and do that. Right, so I'm done with the lacing bar. You can see what it looks like. You can see how beautiful it is. So I'll go ahead and create my eyelet. My grommet. Then our uh, Overbus cassette is ready. Wow, I love it. It's looking so beautiful. So I'm going to press on this my um I'm going to press on this my lacing bar so that it lays flat. You can see how beautiful it's looking. Then I'll finish up the down so you can do that yourself. Just use your bias whatever you want to use you want to use the chantilly lace or the bridal satin you use it to finish up the down just pipe the down and we are done voila then if you have if you are not comfortable with wearing something like this you can like for me i will not be comfortable wearing my overboss corset like this so i'm going to do something i don't know what to do yet but i just wanted to show you how to make a victorian corset so this is a victorian corset but I cannot leave it like this. I'm going to do something to cover up the top. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.